what up what up it's dana in this video i'm going to be telling you the best intermittent fasting workout routine first of all link in the description it says that free training program it's like a 12 week free training program that will help you get the results you want absolutely free just download it no email address no nothing but let's get straight into the video so the best intermittent fasting workout routine or any routine that you follow is gonna to have to include these principles. If they don't, then it's a shit routine. So first of all, they need compound exercises, right? Most routines that don't have compound exercises at all aren't usually gonna be the most effective. So compound exercises need to be in there. As well as this, the routine needs to apply these three principles. First of all, it needs to have mechanical tension or include it at least, which basically means working in a lower rep range, or let's say, four to six. Basically mechanical tension is getting stronger. Second one is metabolic stress. Now metabolic stress is the cell swelling chasing the pump. And this is a really big factor as well when it comes to muscle growth, just as mechanical tension is, because you can't just lift the same amount of weight all the time and expect to grow. If you look at any person that's big naturally, they're gonna be quite strong as well. But you need to apply these three principles, otherwise you're not gonna maximize your muscular hypertrophy, muscle growth. So the third factor is muscle damage. Now muscle damage is basically correlated to muscle soreness in some ways. However, it's basically the exercise selection, exercise variation, and the reason muscle damage is so important is because if you're doing the same exercise over and over and over again, you're not actually giving your body a new stimulus as well, and that said, you're not maximizing the muscle fiber recruitment. By this I mean, let's say I'm just doing a pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm not doing any horizontal pulls from different angles. You need to understand that your muscle fibers, one exercise is not gonna maximize the muscle recruitment in each fiber. You need different exercise selections. That said though, I recommend keeping a compound exercise as the staples, like let's say, the bench press, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, dips, keep them the staple. And then with the isolation exercises, that's when you like varying them up maybe every two weeks or so. So those three principles need to be in your routine. Now I have been saying the best workout routine and let's face it, there's no best workout routine. The best workout routine is the one that you can stick to and the one that you enjoy as well. So apply those three principles as well as this, increase the volume load, and I'll get into more detail in a second, and apply progressive tension overload, which basically means add more weight over a period of time. Same as the mechanical tension, working in the lower rep ranges of four to six. Now, we covered basically mechanical tension. For the metabolic stress, chasing a pump, I recommend you work in a rep range of say about eight to 12, maybe 12 to 15 to really get that pump because Eight to 12 is great. It's the quote unquote hypertrophy rep range, which gives you a good amount of mechanical tension and metabolic stress as well. But if you really want to chase the muscle pump, maybe 12 to 15 reps. It's not like a set rep range, by the way, for muscle growth. The best rep range is a varied rep range over a period of time. So, so far we have mechanical tension, metabolic stress and muscle damage, AKA exercise selection, all this kind of stuff. As well as this, we have increasing the volume load and applying progressive tension overload. Now, just before we end the video, I wanna talk more about on increasing the volume load. The volume load is basically the sets times the reps times the load. Let's talk about volume. So volume basically means as well sets times reps, but we need to work from MEV, the minimum effective volume to the MRV. And I've already uploaded a video talking about this. So if you want to know more about this, I think the video is called why you're not gaining muscle or something. I'll link in the description down below if you want to watch that or more of that. So start off with your MEV, minimum effective volume and work towards your maximum recoverable volume, your MRV. This basically means starting off, let's say with 12 sets or maybe 14 sets per muscle group per week. Then the next week is gonna be 16 sets per muscle group, the next week 18, until you get to like 20 to 25. This is most people's like bliss point, the hot spot where if they do any more than 25 sets per muscle group, they're gonna start 
not being able to recover, not being able to add more weight over a period of time and perform. So you need to gradually increase the amount of sets you do over a period of time. So this is basically what a good intermittent fasting workout routine is gonna include and just any routine, let's face it right. So keep orders in mind and eat in a calorie surplus, get enough protein, 0.8 grams per pound on body weight to about one gram and shit man, drop the mic. I've just given you the secret sauce. Download my free training program down below. If you enjoyed this video, also download my six pack abs guide as well. This is all for free by the way. No, no email address exchange, nothing. You just click the link, it opens up. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm excited, I'm buzzed. Stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one. No, there ain't no stopping us.